Good evening, Rock League fans. Welcome to Minor League Double. There's still a big chance here for anyone to take this in regulation, and this is no! no, no, Ten seconds are gone in the ball. With both members of Orange out of net right now, towards the net. This is a need. New Eric puts it in. This game's not over yet. Bring out your predictions. Bring out your scores. Let's see where we go. Game seven. Winner moves on. Loser goes home. Fridge in position. Scores. Just an insane. Insane series. I just typed the chat. I can feel my heart beat. Right it's just, it's so tense. What a series. We are down to the final 10 teams in the search for the Season 5 Minor League Doubles Champion. And our focus first is on the Blue Conference, where we have the Wild Card Weekend in front of us. It is Sharks and Jets for the right to have a date with the Ducks. And we have that action for you this evening. Welcome to the broadcast booth, everybody. Chris Curtis along with Inanimate Jay. And Jay, this going to be good. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Best of seven, as you said, the best kind of series. Absolutely. The wild card weekend, the best weekend, because we only have to do two series compared to the four we're going to have next uh, next time out. The Sharks finally finding a way into the playoffs. Four seasons running now. They finally get a date with the postseason. And their opponents, the debutantes on the season, the expansion team, the Jets, coming in the runner-up spot from the Sky Division behind the league leading ducks for this one the other side of the broadcast the flames resurrected this season as the league goes to 24 teams up against the bulls volcanic division champions from season four unfortunately having to scrape into the wild card by the skin of their teeth needing a lot of help from their tropic division rivals on the final day of the regular season to make it in and a quick look at the pickums, I got the the numbers from the fantasy league commissioner Fisig two twenty two twenty nine. Uh, the Jets overwhelming favorites in the popular vote for this one. Twenty six of thirty two respondents, eighty one point three percent picking the Jets to win this one. Six people picked the Sharks to come out of this one. A little bit closer in the other side of the the uh, league. Twenty two of thirty two picking the Flames. Ten of thirty two picking the Bulls. Should be good, no matter what. The big thing about that second matchup that's intriguing, of course, that you and I remember is mm -hmm. Old Man Ray has his second shot at the Bulls, who rather dispatched him unceremoniously in the playoffs last season. So he gets a little shot at revenge with a different roster of sorts, but still definitely a personal venture for him. In the first matchup, Sharks and Jets. Sharks, as you said, underwhelming or underwhelming as far as the pick'em goes. They are definitely the underdogs as far as the MLD community is concerned, but we know what kind of talent level these guys do possess. Jets are going to come out on fire, but Sharks, if they can weather that storm, they do have a chance. I think that the, the Sharks, if they treat this game very similar to how teams should treat the Ducks ahead of them in the bracket, don't give them the ball, give them very few opportunities to maintain pressure, keep the ball close to yourself, win the 50-50s, and then it'll make it a little bit more difficult for the Jets to impose their game plan on this field here. Utopia Stadium, a great afternoon time game here. The, the team's Almost ready to take the pitch here. I've got them on standby here. It'll be Springy and Sith Droid for the Jets. And Great God Zeus alongside You Reach, I Teach for the Sharks. As these guys get set. Best of sevens the whole way through the MLD playoffs. Four wins separating these guys from moving on. Twelve wins for either of these four teams today to try and find their way to an MLD championship. And I'm curious to see, and I don't have the stat in front of me, but how many wildcard teams do get in to the championship round? That make that would be a very interesting stat to uncover, and I meant to have ask it a little while ago. But either yeah, way, the, it the is the difficulty. What it is. The difficulty with that one is that the wild card has actually only existed in in seasons three and five of of MLD last season. Okay. Two two teams from each division making their way in. So I guess essentially there were there were two wild card teams out of out of each. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, each conference as well on the, in, in that regard. But neither here nor there. Um, generally speaking, I don't think it's it's happened a lot. But uh, this season might be the one where things turn on their head, especially in the Orange Conference. The Flames are a lot better, I think, than a wildcard spot would suit them. But Agreed. that being said, I think you and I have bantered on long enough. Teams have been on standby, Let's patiently go. waiting for my signal. Let's get this one going. They're shaking. We know that the nerves are there. I mean, I'd say the knees, weak or arms are heavy, but I feel like they'd be a little bit redundant at this point. We are ready to go. Best of seven for a date with the Ducks. Wild card weekend is upon us. Sharks and Jets game one is underway. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us and on MLD Showdown Sunday playoff edition. 
First play going off the back wall into the shark's end. First shot goes well off target. Sharks can try to regroup after Springy misses on the sidewall. Coming in off the ceiling. Off the back of their own ramp. That's going to go towards net. And unable to get that one on target is Yuri Chai Teach. Springy trying to get control. He's going to miss that opportunity. Zeus off the side tries to get a 50. It'll go out of the corner. Pop out in front for Springy, and he will remove that from being a threat. We played 35 seconds, and teams just kind of feeling each other out. But one thing I will say is the Jets are kind of panicky a little bit in their own end. Yeah, I almost feel like they're just a little bit unsettled right now. The Sharks, though, very much so looking like they've settled in. Not a lot of squirrely touches at the moment. And can I just say Sith Droid's engine sound is really triggering me at the moment. Go on board with a minute. <laughs> I don't know what car that is, but I don't like it. <laughs> Zeus, this is the one-on-one -on -one chance. He's got the whole short side of the net. But coming back to make a good play is Sith Droid. And back the other way come the Jets. Springy takes control, flicks over one. This will be back to the halfway line for the moment. Zeus puts it towards the red end, and Springy will take it up the corner wall. Played a minute and 25 seconds. Sith Droid, a little bit of unnecessary contact to start with. He puts it up the side on this. It'll ride the parallel line. It remains in the Jets' end. This will fly off the back and a good challenge up that back wall from Springy. Scoreless as we play in. Closing in on the two-minute mark. Elapsed here in game one. Three go for the ball. It'll still stay in that Jets' end. This is an opportunity for you reach I teach. He's going to put that one towards frame, but no real good velocity on it. Great God Zeus will wait and maybe take possession the other way. That's a bounce right in front and a clear away as the Jets clear the back lines. Really lucky for the Sharks there as that one came down, spiked off really awkwardly. Actually, the challenge from Great God Zeus going off the wheel well and making it deflect further back. You reach got himself in a perfect there it spot. Is. Whoa! <laughs> what a what save a by save. Sith Droid. Sith Droid able to pinch that up against the post to keep it away. We remain scoreless. Jets are in definite panic mode on defense. They can't get the ball out of their own end for a long period of time. It's good on the Sharks. Hopefully they can get one in here before the Jets recover. And on the other side for the Jets, hopefully they can actually start to settle down and start playing positional Rocket League as opposed to coming up their own back wall with the shot. That's a play towards that red net. Taking it away, Sith Droid. He'll put it into the middle. Springy will give chase. Off the side. Sith Droid will lurk near the halfway line. It tries for a play to put it towards the corner. Challenge in that corner and around that boost pad. Back to half we go. Jets move out casually. Minute 48 to go, still scoreless. Starting to get through the feeling out process. I think these teams are starting to take a little more risk with the challenges. This is a 1v2. Good takeaway from Zeus. He's got a one-on-one -on -one to possibly take advantage of. He is going to wait on that ball to bounce out instead of challenging it up the corner. Sharks give up possession. Then immediately get it back in the offensive end. That challenge will send it across wall to wall. Minute 20 to go. Still scoreless. This is a challenge in front of the Sharks net that will go aside. Dangerous challenge there. You reach coming straight back through that ball. Is Zeus. It might have been Zeus actually coming back on the rotation. One of the Sharks... Blocking the clear, very lucky that that deflects away. Jets right on the goal line, not able to drop that one down. First real look from the Jet squad here as they finally get pressure with one minute left. Been all sharks up to this point, but nothing coming from it. But good survival instinct from the Jets. They've been able to weather this early storm and really the whole game long storm that the Sharks have put on. Sharks at this point have nothing to lose. They are definitely the underdogs. Don't really have a ton of expectations going in. The Jets fully expect at this point to get on and play the Ducks. And right now, the Jets' effort has been rather underwhelming. Yeah, you had to figure, though, that the Jets might have been the one team in a lot of people's books that if they get through this one, have a chance at, at running at the, the Ducks lineup. That Ducks lineup, 22 weeks undefeated. That's a full season plus playoffs and nine more weeks. Oh. Oh. There it is. Springy able to put that one home on the double touch, and this goes back to a great God Zeus touch in the middle of the scoring zone that did not go where he wanted. 
Yeah, unfortunately, just didn't get the run at that ball. Hit it with the front of the car, but not forward. It just died there, and unfortunately, Yurich I teach caught trying to recover on that one as well. Just never managed to get anywhere near the ball on contact, and Springy gets a double tap off the post and in. Sharks in a tough spot. That'll be one last touch, but Zeus touched it away from you, Reach. This will be back the other side. Jets put it back in the Sharks end. They can, they've wasted just about enough time. Four seconds. That's about it. That's going to be a touch into the scoring ramp, and that is going to do it potentially for game one if the Sharks can't keep it up, and they cannot. Jets take game one after surviving for four minutes with a barrage at their own net. That might just be enough to settle the Jets' nerves there. They weathered the storm, and the Sharks ultimately not a lot of shots out of the possession right. that they had. They had so much presence in in the offensive zone, but nothing to show for it. And that, I think, is something they're going to be very disappointed by if they look back on that one going, going forward on that one. The Jets just waited for their one opportunity, and as soon as they got it, they were clinical with it. They made sure that chance counted, and that was enough to win that game one game on the board but we all know it's the fourth one that's the hardest to get oh absolutely it's a fourth one on either side that's hardest to get but the big thing you notice out of that first game is the jets were able to keep it oh that's a scoring opportunity right away never mind what i was gonna say yuri tai teach is gonna start the scoring early absolutely very good kill by zeus there sister trying to come across and that's one where if you're going back for boost defend the net don't come forward because the amount of distance you have to cover to get to that ball is always going to be greater than that of somebody already cheating up on that one go to the goal line defend the goal it's a better chance to make that save rather than coming out for a late challenge into and out of the corner jets playing a little bit of defense right now we're 15 seconds in Finally getting that away is Springy. Springy will try to defer to his teammate, but it goes across. Puts it up that corner wall. Zeus puts it down. This is an empty Jets net to shoot at. Teach is there. No, he is not able to put that one home. Good save coming back from the Jets. We are still 1-0, 35 seconds into the game. Just ran out of boost. Couldn't get to the base of that post to block it from going around the outside of the post. Good look by the Sharks to get that two-goal lead. Now they're just going to slow it down, play a little bit of possession game here, and try and wear down the Jets' defense, but that's not the way you want to do it. No, indeed not. The They have a second player at Springy on the other side, but a great challenge from Greg Godzeus to get across the face of goal to remove that from the goal line. Still one nothing Sharks as we play on. Springy in front, taken away again by Zeus. Zeus will give Chase into the corner. He has a little bit of a possession game, but then meets a fatal end at the heart of a Sith droid coming in and rear-ending him. A really good demo there. Had to make sure he got contact with the player there because the ball was completely lost to Sith droid on that one. Now they have a chance to maintain pressure here, especially with you reach completely out of boost. Oh! You know, I really, really think that you reach was mind gamed a little bit there. I think he was waiting for a second touch. No, he didn't have any boost. He's just trying to time that one to try and get contact on it. Might have thought that there was a second touch coming, but it really should have just positioned himself a little bit further back in the net. Got a little bit desperate without the boost, got too close to the near side, and we, you and I both know from watching a lot of doubles, and even in threes, the closer you get to that near post, the harder it is to defend the ball when yeah. you have to react to it coming over your head. Fair enough. This is going to go towards the Sharks net. Jets are pouncing. This is an opportunity, and Sith Droid cannot put that home. Taking it away is you reach I teach. Zeus gives chase in the corner. It'll get back out to the midline, and the Jets keep it in. Sith Droid, he's got springy lurking, and good bump on the other side by Zeus to make sure he can't do anything with it. Back the other way comes Teach. Teach looking to put it into the middle. He's going to go by the ball. Springy tries to get it out of his own corner, and pushing the issue is Zeus. This will fly across the face of goal above the crossbar. Sharks trying to set up an attack up on the sidewall, 242. They're left in the in game two. This will be a Jets attack. The springy is going to take the ball away from Zeus, but not for very long as the Sharks will try to recover it. Dangerous play there. Urich went for the boost in the same corner as the ball. Zeus, heroics on the goal line to keep that away as his teammate left him really out to dry on that, getting a little boost hungry into the corner jets trying to get it out that's a shot towards frame that is going to be a save coming out from sith droid he's going to try to bring the attack to the shark's end this is a pass up teach is there trying to direct it towards net but instead puts it towards the sidewall 
coming out is going to be Zeus. Shot on net from Teach, but he put it right at the goaltender Springy. Still an opportunity. It's going to go in front. How about another one right at the defense? Still one apiece with two minutes left. A couple of good looks there. Just think that Yurich might have been able to take a stutter step on that. Try and catch Sithroid into diving on a challenge. And then get it around him with a lot weaker touch. Instead just puts it right at the goalkeeper. With a couple of big saves for the team in red and blue. Teach is going to take this up the sidewall. Look for a double touch. Doesn't have the enough boost to get that one done. This will be your, uh, Zeus coming in to try to force it. Good Jets clear. Sith Troy looking for a second touch. He's going to get one, but then he meets a demo. Sharks can give chase in the other corner. Down to a minute 17 in a tied game two. This is going to go out in front. Sithroid towards net. It goes wide of that right post. Very, very close. But the Jets cannot take advantage of a mistake. Unfortunately, the target finders on the Jets there are a little bit off. Sithroid had an open net. Urich caught on the same side as that challenge from Great God Zeus. Sithroid just had to put it on target. Couldn't do so. We stay tied at one. Zeus can't make contact. Springy defers. Back to half. Teach going to put this towards the sidewall. Takes the boost. Travels up that wall. Cannot make contact. Goes into the Jets end. This is an opportunity. Aerial. Teach is going to go above the ball. Gets a spoiler on it to knock it down. But the Jets can move in. A little bit of a focused offense coming in. This is a chance. Goes above the crossbar. Straight down towards the sidewall. 23 seconds on the clock. Things tightening up here in this best of seven. That's a mistake. Zeus loses the ball. It's towards the back wall. Jets trying to put on the attack. It's Sithroid. With 13 seconds on the clock, they take the lead. Unfortunately, you reach just double clutches on that ball a little bit there. As it comes off the backboard, waits too long, tries to turn into that one. Probably has to have the confidence to go up off the backboard, clear that away before it comes back over his head. Instead, it comes down and Sithroid puts the Jets up again with about the same amount of time they had in game one. Seven seconds left. Sharks need to get something done. Jets are going to likely walk away with a game two win unless something crazy happens in the last second. Ball needs to stay in the air. It's up off the nose, but way too far ahead, and that is going to do it for game two. The Jets win two to one, and they have a commanding 2-0 lead in the series. Look at the fashion by which they've got a commanding 2-0 lead in the series. They've just bided their time, waited until the end of the game, found a way to just stab that goal in against the run of play. Sharks had all this offense, all these opportunities, and just for some reason cannot capitalize on them when they matter the most. One thing, the, the Sharks are really rushing their touches and to the point where they're rushing towards the ball and sometimes whiffing because they're going too fast. They're real, they're not realizing the space and the time they have in front of them in some cases. And for example, and I'm going to call out you reach on this because I've seen him do it on multiple occasions. He is definitely missing the ball in places he cannot miss the ball. Yeah, just has to slow it down a little bit, get a productive touch on the ball, know how much time you have to do it. That last goal, perfect example of that. Didn't really realize he had the time to either go up and play it off the backboard or try and time it better on the balance. And he took this really awkward direct line to it that gave him no options to try and play that ball and then ends up not playing it altogether. And it leads to the, the, the game losing goal for them. As Rawlings puts it in the chat, it's time for episode three. Will it be Revenge of the Sharks, or will the Jets continue their dominance in this series? 2 nothing Jets, but this series is far from over. You need four to move on. We will see which version of this series we get in this game here. Game three is upon us, 300 seconds on the clock, and here we go. First goal, I think, is going to be monstrous. However, I say that, and the Sharks got the first goal last time, and it didn't matter. Well, you get the first goal inside five seconds, and unless you continue to set the tempo from that point onward, it doesn't really mean a lot because it leaves so much time for a team to come back, get themselves on level terms, and that's exactly what happened in game two. This will be up towards the sidewall. You reach I teach. Going to put it into the middle for Zeus. That's a shot towards frame, but Sith Droid gets in front of it to knock it aside. Springy goes wall to wall. Pinch up off the side. This is going to go up in the air towards that Shark's net. They need to be careful with this. Zeus is going to get it back towards mid for the moment. Puts it towards the side and does not win the 50 on the wall. This is going to go off the back. Chance for Sithroid. Has contact. Double touch off the ground and he's got it. First strike to the Jets. You see Yurich coming out for that ball. Zeus in the same area. Two players, one ball gets beaten. Sithroid just needs a couple of touches to keep that low and in. 
really have to be a little bit more patient in your reach. Or if you're going to go in, make sure you hit that ball. Get it clear. Get it away. Because your teammate's coming out to make the same challenge you are. 49 seconds in to game three. Sharks need to get an attack together. Zeus makes contact off the wheel, but he doesn't get good direction on it. He'll rotate out the same side as the ball. Give it up to Teach. Off the back. Zeus takes it off the defense for the moment. Sithroid gets it over the head of one. Having to get back is Zeus. He's not going to get there in time. Sithroid far side. Make it 2-0. That is not what the Sharks wanted. They needed this to stay close. And you reach again, stuck watching that ball. Doesn't respect the touch from Sithroid that puts it right over his head. And unfortunately, nobody back on rotation for the Sharks. That's Yurich's fault on that one. Had to be either further back or challenging that more aggressively because either way, the amount of respect he gave that touch, not enough. And it goes in the back of his net. Minute 17 into game number three. This is going to go up the side. Rotating all the way back is Zeus. This ball's coming directly at them. That's a direct line shot if it goes towards frame. Chance for Teach to put it up in the air. Back for Zeus, they score. They get one back, it's a one goal deficit. Exactly what the doctor ordered for the Sharks. That little doink by Yurich. A good enough challenge to keep that ball away from Springy and central enough that Zeus can follow up and get to it. Not the cleanest shot in the world, doesn't matter because it's enough with uh, Sithroid all the way upfield already. Not able to get back in time. Closes that gap down to one and we still have three and a half minutes left on the clock. Ton of time to score one goal. You and I have seen way more goals than one in that kind of time frame before. This will be back towards the halfway line. On the attack, Sithroid. Teach is going to get this one towards the sidewall. Now needs another piece of contact. Puts one directly in line of the net for Great God Zeus, and he takes advantage. We are even at Deuce's Wild. You reach again a good challenge. Again over top of Springy and Zeus. Really aggressive to that ball. Gets the lift he needed just underneath the crossbar. On board with him. Thought he might have missed that one, but ultimately on target. And just like that, game three tied back up at two. Still haven't played two minutes in this game, but we see a much better effort so far out of the Sharks. Taking control, can't get it over Springy. Goes out to Teach. Teach out of the corner. Can't direct this on. Coming back the other side is the Jets. In the corner and around that boost door. Focus is we will roll up the ceiling. Off the ceiling again. This will be one off the nose. Sharks put it back in their own end so they can regroup, but it looks like Springy's not going to let them go quietly. That's a mistake. That's going to go towards the near post. It flies up and above the crossbar across the face of goal, and the Sharks can look for to recover here. 2 and 21 in game three. Jets can really put a stranglehold on this series if they can get one more win. This will be up and over half. Opportunity for Great God Zeus. Zeus, that's an empty net. Towards the line and it's in. 3-2 with 2.08 left. Huge miss by Springy on the boards here. Really aggressive line to this ball. Bounces around him as the momentum towards the boards carries him against it. And he misses the ball as it comes off. And Zeus just has to tap it in home. The Sharks with the lead. 128 seconds left in game three. We are closing in on the clutch moments. Somebody's going to be a hero. Somebody's going to be a GOAT. We have no idea who it's going to be just yet, but the Sharks are ahead. Three unanswered has put them in this position. Jets try to move out Sith Droid. Over the halfway line, he is going to actually get full possession on the sidewall in the opponent's end for the moment. Chance for Springy. He'll put it on. And taken away by Zeus. Zeus is up, has the aerial challenge. That's going to go towards net, crossbar, and down he puts it home. It's a two-goal lead for the Sharks. Zeus has gotten the lightning bolt accuracy down on this one, lofting this in the air from backfield, far south and in as it hits the line and rolls over. Sithroid can't do anything about that one. A two-goal lead for the Sharks as they start to rally in the series. Our good for a D-pants with the saying of it's not, it doesn't count if it's not Bardowski's. <laughs> Crossbar challenge, easy. Oh, <laughs> Zeus! That's a double touch and a savage one at that for Zeus. It's a three goal lead. Six goals, one save, five, sorry, six shots, five goals now as Zeus comes out of the corner off the intersection, down into the top 90 and across the line. And Zeus came to play here in game three. He's got all five unanswered to pull the Sharks way ahead in game three. Zeus with a wildcard weekend play of the week nominee for sure. Minute 24 to go. 
This will be towards the left post in the Jets' end. They need to do a full regroup here because they're a little bit shell-shocked. But we've seen a different Sharks team than we saw in games one and two. Much more offensive. They are much more direct with their opportunities on net as well. Very, very quality right now on their shooting. Zeus finally getting himself into this game after a couple of really close ones that honestly the Sharks could have come out with. Had a couple of bounces gone the other way and they just not missed. Oh, and Zeus there it is. on target again. Cicero can't get there. Six from seven. Zeus cannot be stopped. And he's got a double hat trick in this contest. Just wins a perfect contest in the middle of the field with Springy. And nothing that Sid Thistroyd can do to get back to the near post. And with 56 seconds left, it is the Great God Zeus show. And we are all just spectating. Crazy, crazy events have transpired here for the Sharks as they've gone six unanswered goals from one player. He is putting on an aerial show for us all to witness. This will go in front of the Jets net again. 40 seconds left in game three. And, and also 40 seconds left until a much needed break for the Jets. As they are going to need to do some serious soul searching here after a game like that. Speaking Back of soul over search, half. Just, it, just hit, it just hit me. The Sharks actually took that full gap between games. They, they went the full 60 seconds in between games uh, two and three there. You can see the difference in their play right now. They really got themselves reset. Yeah, that, that's not a bad way to go when you are when you were getting they were getting outplayed. They were rushing everything they were doing and they were just starting to take their time and this is what comes of it. 6-3 as Sithroy puts one in just for momentum's sake. Six seconds left. This is gonna be an easy Sharks victory in well, game three. You can see Zeus trying to recover on that one. Springy actually getting underneath him and he doesn't catch any tires to recover on that one. One for momentum's sake for the Jets. They they're like, okay, we can still score on these guys. We've broken the streak. But two players have all nine goals in this game. Three from Sift right on the hat trick and a double hattie from Zeus. That's insane. That's, yeah. <laughs> we just saw an explosion from the Sharks in game three. They bring it back to a one game deficit. 2-1. Jets still have the advantage. So that's something to keep in mind. Sharks need one more game like that to bring it back to even. And then all of a sudden we have a best of three if that's the case for a date with the Ducks. I mean, if the Sharks get one more and this one goes, go is, is if, if this one gets into game four territory tied 2 2, all bets are off. I saw a lot of yep. calls in the chat for a 4 2 series. And, you know, I could see that happening, but I, I could just as easily see a game seven if this one stays close. I mean, if we see continual games like that, now what we need to see, what we're on pace for now is a shootout. Because we've seen the Sharks mm. really get it together. We've seen the Jets get it together. We need both of them to get it together at the same time. And it will be an epic showdown if that indeed happens, especially in this game four. A lot on the line. These two teams trying to get the four wins first. One's going to do it and move on for next week. And I think we're missing one. Yeah, it looks like Zeus actually, his PS4 might have crashed. I'm just checking Discord here real quick. We might restart as Sithroid rolls one in off the kickoff. Um, give us two seconds here as we try to figure out some technicalities here. Zeus is going to join in. Um, I can't actually communicate with these guys to find out about a restart here, but we'll uh, give, it, give us a couple seconds here. Let's try to get things sorted out. It uh, looks like the Sharks are just going to slot in here and play on. So, one nothing Jets. Uh, as Zeus's PS4 loads really slowly, still hasn't actually joined a team here. Uh, we'll throw it yeah, over what and is, see, see what what's is going happening on. I'm, I'm gonna, I, I don't know. I'm going to keep a, a, an eye on Discord here real quick to see if, if somebody messages me on this one. Uh, everybody has stopped on this one here. So, uh, we're going to go back here to, uh, to, to our beautiful faces here. Okay. As we try to figure uh, out what yeah, in the world happened. The problem, the problem with PS4 is that you can't chat in game, so you, you don't have that ability to like immediately, right. You know, get a get a flag in the chat to be like, hey, can we can we do this? All right, the jet the Jets will agree to a remake here, so we're just gonna get this one. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get this one cool. fixed. So yeah, I, I, let, let's just go back while I while I get these these things sorted out here to uh, to, to talk about uh, this series. A little bit of a technical hiccup. I'm actually not sure what happened on that one. He was definitely in the lobby when the. Uh, when the game ended, you and I both saw him mm. there for sure. Yeah, absolutely. and uh, I, it looked like his his PS4 just just took a dump on the way out. But I mean, yep. we've seen it, I it mean, happens. Feels that, PS4 uh, man. Crash is console agnostic. I've had PCs die. I've had PlayStation 4s. I've had <laughs> Xboxes die. So no problem. I'll just get leave yep. leave a note to the teams to just wait until all four players are in just to make sure before joining teams. Yep. 
That will be good. Sharks and Jets about to do battle again as we get a remake done for the fourth game. This break actually would favor the Jets, though. I mean, after a game like that, having some extra time to regroup, get themselves together, gather their bearings, this may be a break that was needed after a real shocking way to or that that game three transpired for the Sharks. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, technical issues are going to happen. The, the sportsmanship from the Jets, very much yep. so on display here. Their coach, Blackwatch, in the chat, they like to win fair and square. Totally, totally agree with that one. But absolutely. everybody joined in pretty quick here, so everybody should be good to get in. We won't keep this one waiting any longer here. As I see four plus you and I, and I, yep. I think they should all see that one. So, hey, yep, yep, let's yep. make sure I think they might guys... need a signal. They might be waiting for something from you, but either way works for me we're ready to go sharks and jets are now going to be on the field this is going to be a really really good tempo or really really good first minute to show us the tempo of what we're going to see in game four as both teams had a chance to mentally reset of sorts going for boost is springy he lives to tell about it though he's able to get a save out of it we play eight seconds in already first shot on the board for the sharks zeus Looking for a double. He will go underneath the ball. Right there oh. is Teach. And actually, <laughs> he may made the save. Feels bad as we play 25 seconds in. Had to make an actual save back the other way. That was just really unfortunate placement from you reach right into Zeus as he tried to get himself out of the net after the initial chance and then had to come back at full clip to try and get that one away as the Jets had a really good look at the opener. Sharks lurking, uh, circling in the Jets' end. Realize I almost missed an opportunity there. 45 seconds into game four. Zeus up off the sidewall. Springy takes it away from him. Teach is there. Going to go off the back. He is not at a good angle for a double back towards the net. And he will rotate out. Jets trying to get their stuff together. It's going to go off the backboard. And then Teach goes in for a demo. And it's a savage one that creates an opportunity for Zeus. It's 1-0. Perfect job on this demo here. You reach recognizing that Sithroid might be the only one in position there. Zeus just comes down on top of that one, puts it straight into the net before Springy can react to it, and that is the opening goal for the Sharks. one nothing here in Game 4. That's a big one to get and a heck of a way to do it for the Sharks as they get the physical play involved early. We'll see if they make it an often occurrence as the Sharks have it in the offensive end again. The 1v1 play, Springy gets that advantage. Sithroid tries to take possession, and it's removed from him by Teach. Oh, that what? That goes crossbar and down off the 50, and Teach has a goal. It's 2-0. I'm here thinking that this is just going to roll off. Sithroid a little outside the ball, tries to flick it inside, but doesn't get the line right. You reach getting that octane right in front of that ball, lofting it goalwards, hits the bar, rolls down and in. All of a sudden, the Sharks again, two unanswered here, straight up to the 2-0 lead. Yeah, minute 18 gone, and the Sharks are playing a really well-rounded game of Rocket League at the moment. This will be dropping in front of the Jets' net. Springy and Sithroid have an advantage. It's an empty net. Can't miss those, and they don't. It is 2-1. It's a great job catching that one right around the challenge from the Sharks player. Believe it was you, Reach, coming in again. Talked about that a little bit early on. Uh, with that, that decision making coming in a bit too early on a challenge where he's going to get beat and unfortunately the Jets captain getting his team on the board here cutting that momentum down a bit we find ourselves at 2-1 90 seconds in with a 2-1 lead for the Sharks but it's a goal that the Jets needed this will be off of the sidewall bouncing it again off that side off the corner right oh! in front and it's Zeus with an absolutely savage shot, it's 3-1. I went on board with him because I'm like, okay, I know Zeus can hit this. Gets up really well, rolls that in off the top of the octane, upside down, bumper and in. Zeus popping off again, it's 3-1. That is a nasty, nasty shot from him. And don't look now, but he is starting to get warm. And after the game three he had, that is not good news for the Jets. Maybe that's Back the other way from Springy. It overheated. <laughs> He was getting too warm. He overheated his console. <laughs> He'll try to take this catch. He will miss on the catch. It'll go into the offensive corner. Not able to take possession there is Springy and Sithroid. Shark still circling. That'll go towards the near post. Put it out into the middle. Up is Zeus. Zeus can hit this too. He's got it. Puts it home. Lower part of the net. And that's about as patient as you can get. 
And that's as patient as you need to be. So slow, feathering that boost, waiting for the moment when that ball is going to cross down into that angle where you can tap it down right into that upper 90. Now, not quite in the upper 90, but far enough away from the defender that it gets across the line. And it's just Zeus all day right now, 4-1, and the Sharks absolutely smelling blood. Nine of the last 10 goals scored by the Sharks in the last two playoff games scored by Zeus. It has been an absolute great God Zeus show. And the Jets have been cordially invited to see their playoff hopes get diminished if they let this continue. This will be up the back wall. Chance for the Jets to possibly get back into it. Droid towards net, needing to make a save is Zeus, and he does so. Still a three-goal advantage. Sharks trying not to let them back into this game. Still a ton of time left. A lot, a lot of boost, though, in the tank for the Sharks right now. They've expended so much trying to defend the Jets, getting that offensive circulation going, getting the rotations down, but Zeus... Right past Sithroid, that's going to break that rotation. We finally have a chance to breathe. And Zeus decides to put this into the corner. That 50 is going to go in front of the net, but a demo is going to put the Sharks back on a 2-1 to one disadvantage. Back the other way comes Springy, needing a save. That's Sithroid. Can he come back and make a second save? He cannot. Sithroid is going to make it a two-goal deficit. Really unfortunate for Zeus here. Did really well to defend that first touch. Just didn't quite get it on the nose to flip it against the backboard and into the corner. Then overdrove that shot by Sith Droid. Just went straight down right inside the near post. Perfect place to put that on somebody who's trying to recover all four wheels onto the ground because it's so hard for them to sit down and get the backflip animation started to try and defend that. So if you are watching this series and you are, say, the Ducks... Okay, you realize you have the winner of this. What do you have to do to not let, like, say, for example, the Sharks move on? What do you have to do to not let Zeus get as warm as he is currently? Well, they generally just have to play the Ducks game because the Ducks game feeds off of weak touches from the defending team with the ball. They, they thrive off of offensive ball circulation with possession. As soon as a player makes a touch like that, they're on top of that. They're diving in on that one, putting it back against your defensive wall and forcing you to expend more and more boosts you try to defend. Good, good point. We'll see if the Jets can maybe start to take some tips from that. To get something back, this will be off the back wall. Chance for Zeus. Zeus goes off the back. Still there is Teach. And, but he will circle out and leave it to the Jets to try to take possession of. 45 seconds left. Jets in a tough spot. They need a goal to try to get the momentum back and possibly bring this one even again. Down to 38. Sharks wasting a ton of time on the sidewall. Now to 2v1 the other way. Sithroid. Near post. He's got it. Just underneath Teach. And it is 4-3. Teach doesn't realize Sithroid doesn't have boost, but there's a lot of telltale signs on that one. Should open up the ability to challenge. Instead, he's not tight to the pose. Tries to pre-jump that one and ends up getting beat near side. It's a one-goal game, 31 seconds. This is game on. The Jets have this every is opportunity. Doable. This is definitely doable. They needed that goal, but then they give up a shot like that. And they save coming across from a Sithroid. Back the other way. Good challenge at the neutral zone line by Zeus. He's going to have a chance for a direct line to the net. Tries to follow it. And the 50 in front of the goal line is won by Sith Droid. And back the other way we go. 10 seconds. Jets trying to set something up. This could be a tied series. One second on the clock. They need to keep it in the air. It is in the corner. If they can get one pinch to send it across, that is it. The Sharks will challenge in the corner, and it will touch the ground. We are even at two apiece. Well, that's the momentum shift in the Sharks' favor. They needed that game, especially with the technical issues, to try and get themselves back in the series. They do so, continuing off where they left out in Game 3, getting all all of the pressure going forward, catching the Jets really off guard, I think. And now it's it's game on. It's a best of three. Yeah, it absolutely is. The first two games of the series were defensive battles that absolutely mm -hmm. favored the Jets. And now these last two games, it's been an offensive show by the Sharks. The Jets were able to keep up a little better in that game. But they've just they've given up 10 goals in two games just is not the Jets' way of doing things. And they're struggling right now. I mean, they've given up nine of those ten to Zeus as he popped off for six yeah. in game three. You see Springy just waiting on the on the ready up here, definitely taking the time to try and settle the team down as, as he and Sithroid have been... A, a three goals, I think, in this game was generous. This was Sharks very much so for all the momentum mm -hmm. at the moment. And yeah. it, it's, it's going to take a, a reset of that mentality to try and fix this and get them moving forward. 
And the Sharks just need to remain focused. They cannot get too hype about their efforts in the last two games. Like, yes, they brought it back even, but it's essential for them to not get too... I, I, wanna, I almost want to say full of themselves, but I don't think that's the right terminology. They, they really, need to really keep the swagger in check. They need exactly. to keep the swagger yes. in check. Yep, yep, yep. You, you're exactly right. They need to be focused, and we'll see how focused they are as we enter game number five. It is essentially a best of three to move on. Springy's going to keep possession of this, but he's out of boost. He's in a tough spot, and he gets the boost taken from in front of him. He will rotate out. Coming in Sithroid. Now it's Zeus. He's been the hot hand. Shot on net. It goes over the head of two, and it's one nothing. Sharks have the advantage. Perfect shot placement here from Zeus. Sees Springy a little bit out of position, too close to the ball. Makes that decision to turn away, but by then it's too late. He has the angle. He knows exactly what distance he needs to put on that one. No mistake. Eleven of the last ten shark or ten of the last eleven shark goals in favor of Zeus. It is unreal the level of play from him right now. We are 30 seconds in. This will be back towards the halfway line. Zeus puts it up in the air. Teach with a good vol volley. We'll keep that into the Jets' end. Going near post. Droid puts this in the middle, but an overextension by the Sharks is going to create an opportunity, and Springy will take advantage of the open net. This is unfortunate for the Sharks here. You see both of them attacking that ball, and Springy, perfect ball control. Keeps that one down, under control. No panic at all. Jets captain clinical with that one ties that game up and snuffs out that momentum that the Sharks had building in their favor. You said it was Sith Droid with the odd engine sound, right? Yeah, he's on Aftershock. I, I'm watching okay. chat as well. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate. DML, I, pre I appreciate. I appreciate the eyes, but you know, <laughs> which is oh, something wait, nobody's oh, ever said to me. Zeus, no, off the ceiling. It's two to one. No, no, no. This is an, an own goal. goal though. Springy yeah. on board with him comes out of the corner, way off target, up ceiling and into his own net oh man feels really really rough man on springy he's gonna need to try to put that in the rearview mirror and just have short-term memory of that that's an immediate shot the other way and the sharks look to put on the attack again 2-1 at the moment this will come off the back wall chance for springy but there again is zeus right place right time he takes it away good demo Gets them out of their offensive rotation. Zeus not going to care about any kind of rotation there. He's going to put that towards net. And Springy will take possession. Tries to get it up and around Zeus. There is Teach forcing the issue near the sidewall. Going wall to wall, side to side. Springy's there. Has the dribble. Has the angle. He's got it. Near side and deuces wild a minute and a half in. Perfect control from Springy again. Sees the double commit by the Sharks there, and that's a communication breakdown. One makes the boost grab offensively. It's Zeus who comes in, but then he rotates back the same way, and he kind of freezes you reach as he comes in for the challenge. They end up getting stuck there. Comes out to Springy, and he's like, oh, I can walk this downfield. Tie game. Opportunity on a face-off dunk there from Zeus again into the Jets' corner. Trying to make something happen. The Jets can't really keep possession at the moment. All they're doing is getting contact, trying to keep it as far away from their goal line as possible. Not a smart way to play, and a double commit's going to hurt as well. May create an opportunity, but Springy does have possession. Gets it around one, but flies by the ball. Can't put it towards net, and an opportunity gone by for the Jets. Yeah, big one, too. They also missed the boost grab coming out of that corner. Gave Zeus a full tank. No way. Oh, man. I thought he had the mind game. Not quite that, enough there. We've seen Zeus do some crazy things in MLB this regular season, and that would have been a microcosm of his entire effort as he comes through and has a really, really good effort in that Jets end. Still 2.32 left. It is a 2-2 scoreline. Jets and Sharks playing for a right to face the Ducks next weekend and a chance to move on in the playoffs. Springy. Trying to make something happen out of the corner. Coming in Sithroy with that Hoover-like engine. Around the boost pad. Springy boosts into this. Has a touch. It's going to go right down for Sithroy, but a good job making a save and making it really difficult is going to be Zeus. Still remains a 2-2 score. Oh, you reach just posterizing Sithroy here. Can't find the target, though, as he tries to get the recovery. That flick pulling it just a little bit long. Not able to bring it under control and get that lead back for the Sharks. 
And that's a good point in chat as well. The pace slowing down a little bit, which more than likely favors the Jets and the Sharks kind of letting them do it, slowing down a bit. Oh, you reach trying to tap that out too. See the I could see the pass developing in his mind. You could see yep. on his camera saw Zeus back post trying just to get the nose on that, not over hit that, and unfortunately just went right over top of the ball. Springy up into the middle. That'll be sent across. One that does not quite go on net in a really, really good demo. We'll keep the Jets on their back heels. Minute 12 to go. Another chance for a pass out into the middle. Springy's there to answer that. That goes up the sidewall. Flies by the ball. Going near side. Right towards the goal line. It's Teach. He's going to put that one in. And a missed clear creates that opportunity. Two missed clears. Both the Jets go up that sideboard. And I was like, the ball goes up the sideboard. Do you know what else does? Both the Jets players, they get stuck Ooh. on that same side. And Yurich just has to roll the ball towards the net. Does so. And there's nobody to recover for the Jets. That is a lead for the Sharks. They just got to try and lock it down now. Jets trying to get something going. Circling back in Springy. He will put it back into the middle. Going to get it around two. He's going to have it up the side wall. Doesn't have a ton of boost to work with. He's not able to grab it in the off, off the side. Right out front to Sithroid who cannot quite angle himself. Still 41 seconds to go. 3-2 lead. Jets trying to get something individual effort from Sithroid. Not going to happen. One of these teams is going to take a 3-2 lead in the series. It looks like it's going to be the Sharks at this point. But still a ton of time towards the Sharks net. This is up in the air for Sithroid. Has the angle. Far side. It's off the post. And it stays away. Oh, very, very close to tying the game. But feels bad, man, for the Jets. Crossbar. Post. Out. You don't get any closer than that. Seven seconds. It's up in the air. Springy. Trying to get there. Doesn't have a ton of boost. Sithroid needs to keep it up. It's off the sidewall. It's still in the air for the moment. And that is it. The Sharks are going to take a 3-2 lead in the series. Three unanswered wins for them. They have the Jets on match point. Man. <laughs> I don't have words for that one. When that goes out of the wow. top, into the top 90, out of the top 90, and a rolling away. Like I saw that hit the inside post and saw it start to roll away from the line and went... That is the Jets' luck right now. They just oh, yeah. cannot buy a goal at the moment. That is a rough way to let that happen. 3-2, though. And that, you know what? That goes back to that own goal from earlier. Yeah, it Jets. really does. I mean, because this game would be tied if not for that. Absolutely. And you just got to think back. Like... Sure, it tied the game at the time, but it was an uncomfortable goal, and mm -hmm. you have to have a short memory. If you don't have a short memory in the in the level of at least five or thirty seconds, at least have it in five minutes. Get that out of your head and start to pull yourself back into the series. Make it a best of one. Well, at the moment, the Sharks need one, and they move on. Jets need two. We'll see which one we see after this five-minute period. This will be in front of the Sharks' net. Sent across, coming in is going to be Teach. Sent into the middle, that's actually Zeus. He's going to try to put one off the nose. Sent back to the halfway line. Teach is there, putting it towards the net, but it'll be knocked into the corner, giving Chase Sithroid. Good challenge. Jets win the better of that challenge. Sithroid going to try to put this off the nose towards the scrambling defenders. And it will be a save as we've played 47 seconds already. First shot on target. Two shots already for the Jets. Ooh, dangerous ball. Sithroid can't get there. Oh! Zeus can't find the angle. Trying to drop it down. Just hits that backboard. But a really good look from the Sharks as they continue to mount the pressure on offense. Good job getting off the back line from Zeus. He will go over Teach's head, but it, he still, Teach still gets knocked back towards half. That's a dangerous place to have it, and Springy's going to take advantage. Jets have the first strike in game six. Springy beats both the Sharks players there. Zeus tries to recover, can't get contact. The Springy's touch, a little bit staggered, just gets that mind game, and you reach desperate trying to get back in. Can't do anything but bulldoze the players into his own net. First blood here for the Jets as they try to get back in the series. 1-12 in. 1-0 lead for the Jets as we try to see if they can force a decisive Game 7. This will be back in the Jets. And Teach is going to get there. Zeus goes for a demo and gets one. He'll have to wait three seconds to play again. That's going to create an opportunity and a challenge in front of the Jets net that will be sent off to the side. 1-0 lead and the Jets have possession for the moment. It is into the Sharks' corner. 
Getting it around one. Now two. That's an empty net to work with. Zeus gonna have to play a mind game as he's run out of boost. That's off the back. Gets the physical play right in front for Teach. He puts it home. We are even at one apiece. Ran out of boost. Couldn't get this one, but actually manages to win that challenge against Springy. Springy gets the ball first, but the first touch doesn't keep it under control and lets Zeus back into it. You reach right in front of the net. There is nothing that Sithroy can do in rotation. Tie game, 314 to go. And this is about as close as these teams have been. And things seem to be slowing down on the scoring end as well, which if you remember the first two games of this series definitely favored the Jets. Coming out are the Jets. This is going to be Sith Droid trying to get there. Springy going to fly by the ball. Sith is going to re rotate back towards goal. Challenge in the corner. Not a place you want to be. That's an empty net, and Teach is going to put it home 2-1. to one. All of the momentum right now in the Sharks' favor here. Zeus with great control, lifting that over the onrushing Sith Droid. Springy there, nowhere to be found as he tries to rotate back to cut it out. Can't do it. Yurich has the angle 2-1 to one here. But man, you just got to feel that Sith Droid didn't need to challenge that in the corner. Zeus can score from there on a really good day with Saturn aligning with maybe Pluto. <laughs> just wait for the pass. He's passing it all day. <laughs> you, you mean you mean Pluto RL, right? <laughs> That's sure, a shot <laughs> near side, and it's Zeus making three one. Zeus, great job in transition here. Sithroid, not sure what happened on that jump. He recovers really awkwardly, then goes right into the corner for boost, and Zeus punishes him for that look at the boost orb. Three to one. We are a we are two minutes and twenty one seconds, just closing in on halftime of game number six. If you guys are just joining us, the Sharks have a chance to clinch a move into the second round. Sith Droid firmly does not care. It is 3-2, one goal deficit. This is the aggressive play you want off a kickoff. Grab your boost, go right to a ball that's not contested on that sideboard. Really good job to roll his car around. Get that touch right away from Zeus in net. And the Jets in with life. Cut that lead down to one. Five goals combined. We're on pace for 10 in this game as we just hit the halfway mark. Sharks looking to answer. This will be up in the air. Teach going to try to give it a follow, but it will go back towards Sithroid. Now Springy. Springy puts it on net, forces Zeus to make a save. It'll go back out to Sith. He gets contact off the side panel. Doesn't go very far. Rotating into it. Springy puts a pass out towards the sidewall, but no Sithroid out to get there. And Springy will have to rotate in and get contact to keep it away from his goal line. Sithroid comes down, reigns on top of it, but it equates to a back pass for Springy. He puts one towards frame, and it's in towards the left post. This game is tied up at three. A couple of backflips here. Sithroid doing a really good job controlling that down for Springy. He just lofts this one goalward, and then you see Zeus and Yurich both in really bad spots there. It's the feels backflip, though, by Yurich that really sets that up. Ends up going away from the ball, and Zeus having nothing to do with that. Two unanswered now for the Jets. They're back in it. Tie game. Minute 50 to go. We are threes a crowd right now in this game and possibly in this series if the Jets can keep this momentum together. This is going to be the other way for Sith Droid. Has a chance to possibly take the lead on the 1v1 play, but a great challenge coming out from Teach is going to send this towards the sidewall. Off the ceiling. Dropping it down. Coming in is Sith Droid into and out of the corner. Good tap far side, and Springy's not quite there in time to put it home. Still a threes game, but at the same time, the Jets are firmly starting to take control and the and basically dictate the pace of this sixth game. Silly, Curtis. It's a twos game. There's only two players on each side of the pitch. I understand what you're referencing. But you're right. The Jets very much so in this one now. They're getting the possession they want. And the Sharks kind of fell back into their shell right now. They're not swashbuckling like they were for that first little spurt before halftime here where they put themselves up 3-1. to one. They've just kind of fallen back off the pace a little bit. And it serves the Jets very well like it did in games 1 and 2. Springy can try to take a slow-paced control out of his own zone. Sith Droid. Tries to follow it up. Puts it off the nose. He's going to try to dismantle the defense from the inside. Sith Droid looking for a play out to the top. Springy's there. He puts it home. 35 left, and the Jets take the lead. You know how I always talk about getting too close to the near post is always a bad thing? You reach yes. right on that near post. Sith yep. Droid lifting it. You reach backs up away from where he needed to be. If you're going to drift to that near post, attack the ball. Even if it forces a double commit, attack the ball. Because by the time you get to that near post, you can't react to the next play coming. Sharks find themselves in an unfamiliar spot for the last few games. They are down one in the last minute. 
Chance in front for the Jets to possibly put it away, and they cannot finish the job. This will be back out to the top and to the midline. Chance for Teach. That's towards net. And a save coming up from Springy. 15 on the clock. Back to half we go. Springy gets it removed from him. Sith Droid is up. He's going to fly by the ball. Nine seconds on the clock. Teach is there. Puts it off the back. This is an opportunity. Looking in front. It's Zeus. He scores. Tie game with four seconds left. Who else but great god Zeus as Sith Droid misses a big defensive clear. You reach off the backboard and Zeus just enough contact around Springy. We're going to overtime barring something out of the storybooks on this kickoff. I would not I would not reach for the OT just yet though. We've seen storybook endings in the playoffs before. Let's see what happens. One second on Wait. the clock. That's a chance! The dribble towards the goal line and it's taken away. Sith Troy with the clear, and we do indeed have golden goal OT in game six. I'm waiting for Chad to catch up to that one because my heart <laughs> dropped up into my throat as Zeus <laughs> caught that ball. What a save by Springy to get this one to OT. We are looking at a scenario where if the Sharks get a goal, they move on. If the Jets get a goal, we move to a game seven. This is going to be in the Sharks' corner. Chance for them to clear it out. They need to take their time, though. Sitting at the near post is going to be Zeus. Zeus off the sidewall, taken away by Sithroid. Sithroid looking for one piece of contact, but Teach is there to remove that from him. 31 seconds in. Back towards the halfway line. It goes up into the corner touch off the back there is Zeus no good job by Sith Droid coming across the face of goal to take it away and now we'll try to follow it up looking into the corner again Zeus loses this springy near side it's very much a threat still there for Sith Droid he puts it home we are going to a game seven almost heroics here you reach does enough to get that ball up and then zeus feels side flip as he was directly in line to get the clear sith droid recovers jets force game seven i, I mean there's still another series curtis we're not gonna make it with this is one of the best playoff series in mld history there is no doubt about that this right now ranks up there with the season two reverse sweep yep yeah, we're at that point. <laughs> I, I, that's that's where we are at right now. Jets force a game seven. We have five minutes left, possibly more, the way as this series has gone, to determine a winner and a suitor for the Ducks who await next weekend. This this series is has had everything. It's had close it games. It's had momentum shifts. It's had highlight reel goals. It's had a disconnect and remake. It's had everything. And honestly... <laughs> It, what better way to finish it than a game seven? And Rawlings turning to page seven of his script. We will see exactly which version of it we see as we are underway. 300 seconds to determine a winner. That's a direct shot from Teach. A cheat to go grab boost pays, they, and they pay for it dearly. It's one nothing. They've done this all series long. They get this kill. You reach pouncing on that one. Predatory instincts from the Sharks player catching that Jets play off, looking for boost every <laughs> single time. And it's one nothing. Sharks three seconds in. Mateo, quote, uh, excuse me, the Ducks don't want to play either of these teams. Can we redo the bracket, please, Kappa? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. 4.49 left, a one nothing lead for the Sharks. And back the other way come the Jets. Springy wins the challenge. Does not get it past Teach. Teach is going to challenge again near the wing. This will be right in front for Springy. It's a 2v1. A little dribble try from Springy, but he gets it removed from himself. 30 seconds gone. Flying over the ball. Sharks going to misplay this. This is back towards the empty net, and they're going to pay for it. Sith Droid going to tie the game at one apiece. Unfortunately, Yurich has done this a lot this series. That quick, fast aerial, a little bit too quick as he overshoots the ball, missing the aerial, and Sith Droid just has to put that on target as Zeus losing a lot of boost trying to win that challenge. Tie game, game seven, game on. Huge, huge punish for Sith Droid as he's able to get it home. We are even at one. 421 left. This is going to go across the halfway line. Actually, ride the line parallel for the most part. Up the sidewall. Going off the back. That's actually a shot on frame. And the double commit is going to turn into a save for Springy. Sharks again circling. Zeus is there. He puts it up the ramp. It's in frame. If, if Teach can get there, he flies by it. Cannot get the side panel home. And it is still one apiece a minute and a half in. Flying Sharks. Oh, that's a of. big challenge by Zeus, and it's a 2-1 lead. 
And watch this from Zeus's perspective here. Grabs a boost. No, it's a clear that has no follow up from Sith Droid. He ran on a boost, landed short, and Zeus just puts it direct on target with Springy searching for the orb in the far corner. Huge, huge mistake made, and the Sharks take advantage of the one goal lead as we played a minute and eight seconds. This is going to go into the offensive corner. Up is Springy. Springy towards frame and having to make a save is going to be Zeus, but it does not matter. Sith Droid able to get the rebound and put it home. Deuce is wild. Coming back in your own end. If you come out to make that play, you have to make sure you get that to the far boards. Zeus side pod not quite clear enough. Doesn't get the front of the car on it. It falls right to Sith Droid. 2-2. Two, two. There's still three and a half minutes to go, Curtis. What is going on with this game? The shootout in game seven. Cue the Western music as I think is the only real way you can really put this into perspective. This is a chance for Zeus to get it out of his own corner. It's in a scoring area, though. That's a dangerous place to be. Springy cannot direct it on net. Challenged by Sith Droid. Keeps it in the offensive end for the moment. It'll go off the side. Taking a shot that's going to go up the ramp, not quite on frame. This will drop in frame for Zeus if he can get there. Waits patiently for the mistake, and he punishes. Upper 90 for Zeus. It's 3-2. This is the perfect example of how to outweigh a defensive touch. He sees Sith Droid up, knows he's going to lose that touch if he goes up for the challenge, but he doesn't have a great angle to make that play. Just parks himself, waits for that bounce, and reads it straight into the net. Nothing that Springy can do is his teammate leaves him on an island. One minute and 55 seconds in. This is a Shark's chance, but the kill at the faceoff dot will not go their way. Into the Shark's end we go. Waiting about halfway into the net is Teach. He will get contact. Now is a chance to follow it up. Going to try to keep a dribble. He'll fly, actually roll by the ball. Has to attack it backwards. Still there. He's going to put it off the hood. Does not go very far. Zeus. Now Teach. Looking for the near post. Sith Droid. Drops on top of it. Puts it right down for Springy. That's a chance that could go on net towards the looking for a dribble play and Sithroy gets knocked well out of the way but it goes right back to Springy no contest from Zeus I'm not sure if he's out of boost or just feels backflip but it's 3-3 three, three. feels backflip he grabbed a full tank in the corner rushes back as he sees that challenge get lost oh. takes off and flips right underneath the ball feels bad man but it's a tie game just shades past halftime 3-3 three, three. all right well this is the kind of game seven that we wanted Huge shootout incoming as we've seen six goals already and we are on pace for 12. This is going to be back over the halfway line into the Sharks' end. Jets have had a really, really good couple of minutes, but the Sharks can attack now. Teach puts this up in the air. It's going to go towards the back wall. Good demo. Chance and a really good clear from Springy realizing he's by himself. A little bit too late, the demo there. It took a lot of effort from Zeus to go in for that one there. And Teach never really had a great follow-up shot either, so got to know when to call yourself off that play. Set yourself up for a pass, because had he been in position, might have had a chance to beat Springy on the play. Goes off the nose. Still in the Jets' end. Really, really fortuitous bounce towards the empty net. And great God, Zeus just has to will it home. 4-3 with a minute 45 to go. Sith Droid low boost gets too deep in the corner as it hits that angle, bounces off the baseboard over top of him, and Zeus, again, patience, perfectly placed in the bottom corner of the net. A minute 45 to go. The Sharks get their noses in front. Oi, 145 seconds to find a winner. That goes towards frame, and Springy ties the game that quickly. This is a track meet right now. Not the Sharks face off that they want. Zeus comes out to challenge again. We talked about that. You have to have that first instinct defend the net if you can't win the cheat directly on that one. Those diagonal face offs, very tough to get that angle to kill that ball perfectly, and they pay for it there. The Jets have oh, figured out get another one. Springy is going off in this game. He's got a total of three, his hat trick. The Jets have finally figured it out there. They're cheating the same way that the Sharks are. You see. Zeus just drifts a little bit into that corner channel and that opens up Springy who went for that direct line punishing the Sharks decision making. Two unanswered, they're up in front. And just like that, we have gone back and forth more times than I care to admit. This is going to be towards the far side, not quite on frame. Coming out to Zeus. Zeus is going to get contact over the halfway line but Sith Droid there to put it up into the air. The pop-up goes up to Teach. Springy has a shot at an empty net, but Zeus is there to rotate in. Up. 
chance for the Jets, but it'll be a pass into the middle, trying for a pinch, and and that is Teach who meets a very fatal end. Up in the mid, missing it with the nose. Teach is on an island by himself at the 2v1. Good challenge, puts it towards the side, but now he needs another piece of smart contact from his teammate, and it's a perfect one out to the sidewall. Teach is there, trying to get towards the ball. This is going to drop into frame. Sithroy needs to be smart with it, and he'll get one off the nose that goes well off the goal line. Yeah, very, very good play by Sithroy there. Ooh, Springy almost leaving his teammate out on that pass. There was an opening if Zeus could get there to put that straight through. Unfortunately for the Sharks, fortunate for the red and blue of the Jets. They don't pay the price on that one. What? Oh, you reach! That's opportunity! It's Teach! 31 seconds to go, and it is tied up at five apiece. Gold drought being said in the chat. Nope, not today. <laughs> Zeus and Teach fly at that one. It's Teach who gets contact. 5-5, five, five, 31 seconds to oh, go. What man. a game, what a series. Yeah, no kidding. I, that's the understatement of the week. 5-5 five, five with 28 seconds to go. This is going to go towards the net. Needing a save, and they got one from Zeus. 22 on the clock. We may be looking at a Game 7 OT, but this is going to be something that the Jets can avoid if they can get it on frame, but Teach with a beautiful boost challenge in the air is going to take that one aside. Up the sidewall. Seven seconds left. Jets attacking. Shot towards frame. It's off the back. Still there and a good takeaway as that is going to be sent aside by Zeus, but it's still in the air. <laughs> Dropping down. Teach cannot get there. We have golden goal OT to move on each team season on the line. The Sharks getting that kickoff just the way they wanted. You reaches all the way around. It's an open goal to the Sharks. Oh, no. Oh, Springy with the takeaway on the near side. We're 12 seconds in, and that nearly ended just like that. This is going to be towards the sidewall. Teach is there. Springy's up. It's going to be a boost attempt trying to get it across the face. A goal is Teach, and he will to clear it away. He's past Sharks one. on the attack. One on one. No, Springy going to take it away, but does not get great contact. It's still an opportunity as it goes wall to wall, side to side. Coming in is Zeus. Looking far side. That would have been very appropriate could not finish it off still in the jets end. sharks really really taking them to task at the moment they barely just got that ball out of their end and again sith droid in aggressively misses that challenge zeus gracefully running out of boost and that saves springy because he had a really good look at a double gracefully running out of boost aka falling with style i love it this is gonna be <laughs> towards the sidewall chance for teach teach on teach on the challenge we'll get it back to the halfway line up is springy needing to get it out of their own zone for the moment sith droid lurking he's going to put it up in the air look for a follow teaches on the goal line goes up gets hit by the crossbar but it's well above the crossbar no direct threat on this play coming out of the sharks good challenge that's a 1v2 teach puts it up towards the side rolls it around back to the halfway line we go now they can take possession no boost right now for teach and his teammates got to realize that this will go towards the sidewall, and Teach will grab the corner boost in his opponent's end, and the Jets look to move it out. Challenge happening. Goes in front. We are a minute 44 in to a series and playoff deciding OT, and at the moment, the, ten the intensity is just palpable. Springy dropped so far back to the Jets' goal line on that last breakout there. He's letting Sith Droid run the play, falling back, giving the Sharks room and time to play in midfield here. He's out here looking for that one-timer, puts oh. it wide. Just why? That's still an opportunity, though, but it's taken away by Zeus. Zeus has possession and control. Keeps it in the air. Cannot keep it uh, with a follow. That's he on target. Round. That's a very close shot. Teach is up, possibly putting it off the wheels. He can't do it. Still there for Zeus. It goes towards the goal line, but just wide. Oh, man. 2 and 25 into a very, Sister very missed. stellar Big OT. miss. The Sharks have it. They do it. It's Zeus. Halfway through another game. The Sharks move on. They have a date with the Ducks. The upset is real. And huge GG's to everyone involved. Zeus put the team on his back when it mattered the most. Oh, Kept his man. nerve as Sith Troy misses a massive clear going up for that ball. And just had to take two touches. One to get it under control. And the second to put it in the net. And the Sharks, game seven overtime, 6-5. We'll move on to play the oh, Ducks man. next week in the conference semifinals. I think I think every like everybody in the casting booth, you and I, and everybody in chat, we're just gonna need a 
just a cold shower. <laughs> what a way to end an absolutely amazing series. You cannot get more clutch than Zeus was in this five game period or then this seven game period. And I think the amount of goals he scored in this series is is probably, I think, half of what he got this season. <laughs> so I'll, I'll have what? to go check the stats, but yeah, that, that was that was something else. You know what, guys? We're not even done yet. No, Coming up on the other side of this break, it'll be the Orange Conference wild card, the Tigers, uh, not the Tigers, excuse me, their Tropic Division counterparts, the Flames. Tigers have been talking in chat that they want to play. That's why I'm, I've got Tigers on the brain. The Flames. <laughs> Old Man Ray, his third playoff appearance in three consecutive seasons. Another crack two seasons in a row now at the Bulls, trying to get further into the playoffs. We're going to throw this one to a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Why would you after that kind of series? We'll be back with the second wild card, the Orange Conference, coming up right on the other side of this break. Stay with us here on the MLD Network. We don't be 